Hi everybody, Anna K. Morris here with a quick coaching video as I walk Dean and the dogs to school. Um, and here it is. You have no idea what people are going through. I remember first hearing that when I was in pharmaceutical sales way back when. That's right, I was in pharmaceutical sales for about 10 years living in New York City. I lived on the Upper East Side. I get that question a lot. I lived on the Upper East Side and at one point or another in the 10 years that I did that career, um, I covered everything from like New Jersey to, I never really had Long Island, but Westchester, a little bit of Connecticut and all of the city. And this training happened really early on because of the sensitivity of the job that I had is that you have no idea what the doctors are dealing with. And I remember my manager, Gina Defina, telling me that, you know, you could be walking into a situation where a doctor had just had to tell somebody that they had terminal cancer, that, I mean, they could have just had a patient die. Like you actually have no idea what people are going through. And I thought of that for myself this morning because as many of you know, I quit drinking for this whole year. I turned 44 and I just decided like, this is the year that I don't drink for the entire year. So as a result, I have um, a lot more time and um, a lot more energy, which is amazing. And I've been getting up earlier and earlier every day. And this week I've been playing the game of getting up at 5.45. And so this morning I woke up naturally at 5.25 and it's as though Dean still has the umbilical cord attached to me because he can like smell that I'm awake. And within 10 minutes of me waking up, guess who's awake, wanting to play. And it makes the day horrible because he's exhausted because he shouldn't be getting up that early. So my point in all of that is for the last three hours, I'm shooting this at 845, I have had one or two kids screaming at me. Jack wouldn't get dressed. He's obsessed with this stupid basketball t-shirt. And it's like, if he doesn't have, to, if he doesn't wear it every single day, he goes ballistic and I actually don't know where it is. And I know it's dirty. So he couldn't wear it today. So he screamed at me in the car, hysterically crying for the entire car ride to school. And as I'm getting into my driveway, some really sweet friends walked by of which I like kind of said hello, but also didn't say much because I was so fried. Now people could easily interpret that as like, oh wow, like that's really rude. Like wonder what's wrong with her. Except for the fact that I know that I just listened to screaming kids for three hours. And so that's what's going on with me. And so I tell you this because you have no idea what people are going through. So let's try to not make it personal. Let's try to not make up a story I can remember one of my very, very, very dear friends, she thought some, she thought something about me that I was like, you know, totally superficial, which at the time I probably was. And I thought she was just kind of a bitch, but she was just really shy, which is often confused. If somebody's really quiet, you like assume that they're, you know, I don't know, something negative. And maybe they're just like really, really shy and terrified to like talk, which it turns out was my future very, very, very good friend, Nancy. So Nancy, if you're watching this, I love you. And man, were we wrong about each other. So I just wanna say, let go of whatever you think about somebody. You have no idea what they're going through, okay? So let's all just give everybody some grace. Say hello. Hello, Dean, hello. And um, I'm gonna try to give these kids some grace because Lord knows what they're going through. Growing as fast as they're growing, changing as much, and hey. here we are. Say goodbye, Dean. <laughs> okay, I love you, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.